Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. If you are facing this issue on your Dell laptop or system, we could not find any drives. To get a storage drivers, click on load drivers. So this video is for you guys. I will show you how to easily fix this issue. So this issue occurs when you don't have the VMD drivers on your windows and especially if you are using the 9th and above generation of core Intel PC or laptop. In order to fix this issue, you need to have the serial number or service tag of Dell laptop or system. So you can see on its back side or even you can shut down your system and press F2 key on your keyboard and you should able to see the service tag here. And once you get the service tag of Dell physically or the BIOS options. Now the second requirement you need to have a pen drive as well as the working computer. So once you get all the details like service tag, computer, working computer and the pen drive, you just need to insert your pen drive into the working computer. So once you insert your USB pen drive into the working computer and you need to open the browser guys and simply you need to search for like so Dell drivers and once you search for Dell drivers you need to go to first link and once you go to first links you need to enter your serial number here so let me how the serial number will look like so this is the serial number in Dell this is the service tag and this is the model number so you can either look for the serial number or model number you can search that and you need to put the serial number here just click on search and once you click on search options so you need to hear the select drivers so you have two options here you can click on this PC or all latitude for this all the model number but let's say you want to choose this option then we need to click on extend all and once you extend all we need to look for a storage driver this is a storage driver if you are not able to find the drivers like this you just need to click on just search here rapid intel and just filter it and you should able to see here drivers here related to intel you can see here so basically we need to look for the driver rapid intel technology this is the model number which is different but let me show you this is the exact driver which you need to look for Intel Rapid Storage Technology Drivers and Application. Okay, this is the exe file. So we need to download this. Make sure you select this driver Intel Rapid Storage Technology Drivers and Application. Okay, and once the exe is downloaded here, I have already downloaded the exe. You need to have the 7 zip on your Windows so you can also type as 7 zip in order to extract that if you don't have it just click on download and install it once you have installed both this is the rapid intel technology driver we need to right click on it okay and click on show more options and extract with this option the same file this one as you can see here the same folder is made here so basically we need to double click on it and let, let me show you where you need to go production windows 10 or 11 whatever you are using 15063 drivers and we need to look for VMD so these are the drivers we needed basically we need to navigate through this path this is the full path of this driver so you need to 
just copy this you need to copy the fo full folder here guys this is the copy this is you can copy it and you need to paste into the pen drive in which you want to install the windows so once you copy and paste the this folder intel rapid technology driver into the bootable pen drive by which you want to install the windows on it so you need to insert the pen drive into the affected system where you are getting the issue and just reset up the setup now once you are on this error page you need to click on load drivers and once you click on load drivers click on browse then we need to go to the intel rapid technology drivers and application folder just double click on that and expand the 515063 folder and f6 and then vmd and click on f6 vmd floppy into 64 click on ok and both drivers should be listed here and we are good to go click on first option and click on next and once you click on next you should able to install the fresh window on it and you are good to go your issue should fix so this is how guys you can fix the issue so i'm pretty sure your issue is fixed now if your issue is fixed then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching